Hey, do you wanna build a Twitter clone with Python programming language and Django framework? So this is what we are building today. This Twitter clone can create a user, update the profile, can uh, log in, log out, create a tweet, delete a tweet, uh, can follow users, unfollow users, and lots of other functions just like a real Twitter. So if you wanna build this today, first like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then go ahead. Hey, welcome back and how is it going everybody? Hope you guys are doing amazing. So in this video, we are going to build a Twitter clone with Python programming language and Django framework. As always guys, I am not going through all programming stuff in this video because I've just started on YouTube and I don't have the best equipments for doing long video tutorials like two or three hours. Uh, and this is why I want you to support me uh, just by subscribing to this channel. This is all you can do for me. So if you, if you support me, I can buy better equipments, better computer, better camera and microphone so I can do long video tutorials to help you guys. So with all that said, let's start with this. Okay guys, this is the demo image of what we are building today. So I've, I've used this uh, app, I've built this before and uh, I've made a screenshot here. So I'm gonna show you what we are building. So we have uh, our home page here, we have a profile section, a tweet section and a, a trends section here. You can show the app shows everything about user, email, username, followers, follow, we can tweet. There, these are tweets, we can delete them, we can update them. It has a pagination here. So uh, in this section, in another section, we have trends. So who to follow, we can follow the, the users that are uh, uh, tweeting lots of, uh, very often. We can search for users too here. And uh, uh, we have a nav bar here, create a new tweet. We can log out and register and, and settings. We have the settings, yeah. And with settings, we can update our image, update our email or username. So this is all about what we are gonna to build today. The first thing you, you're gonna do is just, you need to do is to go to my GitHub. So I've provided the link in this in the description. Uh, I've worked for with this project for about one month and now I wanna share this with you and I will learn you how to use it, how to edit it and how to use it for your own. So the first thing you need to do is to go to my GitHub, click on link on the description and here we're gonna uh, find a fully functional uh, Twitter clone, build it with Django. We have all the files here and a documentation that I write it for you. So Django Twitter clone by Radian Marco. A full functional Django app that looks like exactly like Twitter. Twitter. So this is a demo image and you, you see here, what you see here is a very good front end just like Twitter so I have built this all in my own and it look it looked like uh, similar to Twitter so this is why I want you to build this and to try it with yourself so below we have another section that is set up so to set up first you need to go to git clone the project to your local machine and then we can work you can work with it so let's do this git clone the project with git clone and the link of the git repository so copy this and then go to the desktop or any other location if you that you want to save your files so i'm i'm uh, saving them in desktop because it's more easier so first to git clone you have to install the git bash or the git in your windows machine or mac machine so i have al already installed it and uh, now we can uh, open git bash here so after we open this we can paste the command git clone and enter 
As you can see, a folder is appearing here. That means that files are now downloading and and as you can see, now uh, the process is finished. So close this window. And here is the our project. Here are the, all files we need and we can start with this. So in this project, I'm using Django framework. It's a very popular framework for building backend of the web applications using Python programming language. And the language is, yeah, it's Python. So Python is the best program language at the moment and the most popular at the moment. So I re really recommend you this to start. If you are a beginner, you can start with uh, Python because it's very easy to learn and it's very good for building different projects like web applications, uh, data analysis, uh, machine learning and everything you want. So. To download it, you can uh, you can go to the page here, python.org, and downloads. Uh, I will provide the link in description too if you don't find it, and you can download it here. You need uh, uh, Python three, uh, yeah. You need Python three because this project is built in Python three. And other we have the Django. Django I've installed in this project. The last is Django. That is 3.0.5 and all everything with this so this is it close this windows here okay now i'm going to exp explain you everything about this project how i built it how what i use it and how do you guys to build it and how to edit it for your own so uh to do this i'm using a uh, sublime text you can use whatever uh, code editor you want but I'm using this subline uh, now drag and drop your uh, the project here in the uh, subline text full screen this and now I'm going to explain to you the structure of folders so we have some apps here so the first uh, app is blog the blog is going to contain everything about tweets tweet updates, comments, and everything we see on tweets and blogging. So this is called blogging. Then we have uh, the users, the users app. So the users app contains everything about users, login, authentication system, uh, reset password, and everything about user, login, logout, and everything. So uh, another, th another thing here is Django project. So this Django project contains everything uh, about settings like settings URLs uh, and the WSGY here so go to settings here and uh, I'm gonna show you what I used here what I have what you have to do here so uh, I have uh, my apps here and I have put uh, two yeah I've put two apps here installed tech in installed apps we have to, you have to put sorry you have to put your apps your installed app for example blog and users so I have put here blog and users and something else I, I put it here is a uh, crispy forms so crispy forms is a module that is used to design our forms so we know when, when we use forms for example, login form uh, for the first time it it has uh, it, it doesn't have a good uh, yeah it doesn't have a good uh, front end. So to design it, we use uh, uh, crispy forms. So crispy forms uh, can use different library libraries, but here I'm using Bootstrap, and as you can see here below. I've put crispy template pack is bootstrap 4 so I'm using bootstrap 4 for this uh, these uh, forms because and the real Twitter 2 has uh, bootstrap has you used bootstrap 2 so go up so we here we have middleware template and database actually I'm using uh, DB SQLite uh, because it's a it's a database used in production in uh, development sorry in development and not in production because uh, it is used for fast it is very fast in production but 
in, in development but if you want to use in production you have to use another database like postgres or mongodb or whatever you want so language here we have english us static url is static media root so media root means is the folder that uh every everything about media is saved so media is something like images videos files uh different files and uh in this project i've used uh, the profile pictures and uh, profile pictures i have saved them in the media folder so media folder is here uh, i'm making this a little larger so you can easily uh, can see so another thing we have is a login redirect and a login uh, url here okay that's it about settings.py so close it and close the project too now i'm jumping in the first so uh, first, be uh, before jumping in the users, I'm um, explaining you the requirement.txt, requirements.txt. So in requirements.txt, we have every modules and version of module we need for, the, for this project. And we, when we are uh, going to run our project, our app, first we need to install all, the, all of these packages, all of the, these modules here, for example, Django. So we have to install Django before using it. And we have the version uh, 3.0.5. So we are, we are going to use this later. I'm going to show you. We have a, a demo here. This is how our application is going to look like. It is, it is very, very cool. Yeah. So now let's jump to the app users. So app, app users, as I said before, uh, contains everything about user, login, logout, authentication, and everything else. So first we go to the views.py. So as you can see here, we have, uh, two uh we have register two functions two views like a profile and register here so register view is going to register our users so from uh in our forms if we have a a, a method called a, a post method we have to get our data so post method gets data and uh, the get method and that is another method just shows data and uh, after after a method that post so we have a forms user register here that is the form we request this data that uh, that uh, a user has has put in so after this if if form that is valid means that if the data that and the information that the user Put it there. Our veil are are valid. We can save this form, and save this form means that we can save user, and this means that you can register your user. So now we have registered the user. We are collecting the username here and uh, uh, telling the, uh, the user or returning the user a message to to uh, inform uh, him that the account is created for him. Now we have profile here so profile has uh, uh shows all, all the informations of uh, uh like uh, username yeah like username email and other informations so uh we can update your, our profile by uh, update form and profile form we have the search view here but uh, now I'm going to show you something else. So if you go to project, we can see our urls.py here. So this url.py has everything uh, about, uh, yeah, has everything about uh, links and urls and paths that we put our functions. So we have admin path that is admin panel. We have login, logout, reset password, reset done reset confirm confirm and everything so 
this login and this authentication system we are getting from Django. Uh, yeah, from Django.contrib.auth. So this is ready made from uh, Django, and uh, it's very good to use. Very easy, and you can do authentication system very fast. So as you can see, you can just put the URLs here. And uh, something else we have register profile and search that I explained here but search is so search is going to search our users so we request the query so this is Krakow in my English my my language but in English is a query so query this is query a query search so result here we are getting all, all we are fil filtering all the users uh, depending on the query that the user has put here and then we are turning uh, the data so maybe you guys can ask me about what is this login required here so this is a decorator that I have imported he it here from the decorators and it is used to and it, it tells the users that you don't have access in in this search if you are not logged in so if user is not isn't login or, or isn't register uh, you, you can't uh, access this form because no one can access the search view no one can search uh, if he is not logged in in the application so before uh, accessing this we you have to log in so this is all about the views of pi here and uh, Another uh, file here is signals.py. Signals.py uh, cre uh, creates or make a, a automated job. So, for example, when user is uh, registered, we have to create a profile for him. So, I have put this uh, functions here. So, we create profile and save profile. So, everything uh, profile is going to contain everything like. Uh, image like a uh, bio or any other information uh, for user so close this and we here we have models so models we have a, a profile model here and the profile model has user one uh, with a one-to-one -one relationship here with uh, users so this is how I'll, how I'll build it. So we have an image. So everyone has a profile picture. We are uploading them in the profile pics here in the media profile pics. So every all profile pics are here and we have some properties here. So properties followers is used to show our followers and following in the uh, in, uh, in the profile page. And something else here, as you can see, is image. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, you can ask me about what is this, but uh, I'm going to explain it. Explain it now. Uh, as you can see, guys, in the uh, in the applications, for example, Instagram, Twitter, in the profile picture, we don't have a big profile picture. We have just a small. A rounded profile picture and we we don't use we don't have a good quality on this so uh, if if user uploads a very a very high pixel picture and very good a very high quality we can uh, make uh, that can make our app slower so in this line of this lines of code here I'm I'm um, resizing and uh, cropping the image so here we get an image then if uh, I'm asking if uh, image dot hey is uh, is uh, greater than 300 pixels or uh, width is greater than 300 pixels we can uh, we can thumbnail this and uh, create another image with these uh, width and width and heights heights so and then we can save it and another thing is class is a follow class so here we save the followers and that's it about um, models of pi so here we have forms uh, forms are everything about putting informations like login or register we put informations there so uh, here I'm using user creation forms that is uh, ready-made out-of-the-box uh, forms by uh, Django 
so it's very easy to use and you can uh, use it by just mm, we don't have to type a uh, lots of lines of code lots of lines of code okay now that's it about the users app i i'm i'm taking this very long but don't worry uh, you 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 have to 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 follow me step by step if you want to uh, uh, understand what I have typed it here. So next, okay, next, go to the blog app. So first, I'm explaining you the URLs. So I have created an another URL here for this app because it has lots of uh, URLs. As you can see here, I'm using a post. Every 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 URL has a post here. Post post. Uh, this is a na namespace that can, and uh, this helps us to to find uh, easier our URLs. So, for example, we have the first. Uh, we have a path here, uh, a URL here. So post new. So this is going to create a new post by accessing this view here. And uh, we can go to views and to see this. So, in, in this uh, views, I'm using uh, class-based views, not function views, because they are better for big views. So, <clears throat> here and the easier they are easier to use. So, uh, class post. No, it was a create, create post, post create. Yeah, post create. Uh, means that we can create a tweet so we are getting the model post and fields content that it was uh, it is just a field content and template name and success url and everything about it so uh, here is a function that we can check if form is valid or not and another here uh, is a function that every class based views has that is get context data so uh, if you want to get uh, this uh, functions uh, is getting all the data uh, from this post creation views and is returning them into the template so the template is where uh, is the front end so the template folder is here and we have a blog folder here and the, the templates here so, so the templates of, uh, have uh, example for example we have template name here is post new so uh, post new is here yeah and it uh, this contains everything about uh, creating a post so as you can see here I have uh, used crispy forms as I explained before and to, ex to use crispy forms you need to load it first load crispy form tags and then we have to just type the form here uh, and then use the crispy uh, decorator here or the filter I don't know how it's called this so get back go back in the views so we have post list view is listing all the, the tweets and I have pagination count here so uh, maybe you are asking what is the pagination so pagination is a uh, for example, when when you have lots of uh, functions, okay. Uh, when I, I'm gonna show you right now what is the pagination for better understand. So if you go to our to my uh, repository here and go to the demo image, so pagination 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 sorry pagination is this section here. So this section is uh, means that we have a pagination count here so you can show only the uh, the number of how much pag pagination we want so for example i have put it here three so we have listed only three tweets just three tweets here in the main page and then we can jump in the another page to see the other so for example one two three next or the latest or the first or anything we want so this is about pagination. We have post list view is is listing all the tweets. We have user post list view, so is listing all the users, and post detail view. So if we click in in a in a tweet, we can show more details and we can comment here. 
so pause delete view is uh, deleting it for example i have created a, po a tweet here and as you can see is x here and uh, after click this x uh, yeah after click this x uh, we can delete it by using this post delete view so post create view i explained before and post update view so uh, uh, we have a clock icon here and if we click it we can update our post this is this is made by this view and we have follow list view so for example we have uh, followers and following here the the following uh, number is getting from is uh, yeah from these uh, views here and another thing is follow list view and it is, it is showing the number of followers too sorry but i'm trying to drink some water and this is about views here we have models here so in models we have boss that means is tweet so the post contains all the tweets so we have a, a tweet content the date posted so uh, here i have the date posted so as you can see is the date posted and author so author is this one here and author uh, i have uh, a connected connected author with a user user model here that is a ready-made user is a meta ready-made uh, uh, model from django .all the models that i imported here and uh, yeah we have author and i have a pro property here number of comments so this property property is returning the number of comments so is going to the comment models and is filtering all the post by connected that is connected to this post model and then is counting them it's counting on the number of comments so below we have the class comment uh, th uh, that is a uh, model of comments that is contain contains content of comments they posted author and post connected that me post connected means that uh, who wants who owns this uh, comments so uh, this is connected by a foreign key uh, with a post model here so this is all about post models another thing is po uh, forms that uh, in forms we have just only the new comment form and apps admin so you might be wondering that what uh, admin.py do but uh, admin.py uh, can register all the um, our models in admin panel so i'm going to show you admin panel uh, later so uh, you can use it and you can uh, make the life easier when you uh, program in uh, yeah in django here are is the template so here is the static folder so static folders contains everything about static so statics means that uh, uh, all the files about html files css and javascript files so migrations are here and if if you we want to uh, to uh, run our app we have to made to make migrations because we have to push everything every code everything in the database so in database i'm using db sqlite that is a, a development database but if you use uh if you, yeah again if you want to for products if you want to use this app for production we have to use uh, another database that that uh, this bag because this is not uh, good for production okay i think this is all about uh yeah it is all about uh what i wanted to explain about code and now we can jump right in running this app how to run it how to uh, do everything about how to uh, run this app in our machine and how to create users how to use our app so to do this you have to go in the repository and see for other uh, commands here in setup so uh, we clone it in our 
computer so now we have to to go to the step two so the step two says move to the base directory by using this command here okay copy this command here and now we can uh, we uh, we have to uh, open our terminal so you can use cmd or command line on windows our terminal or on mac or linux so I'm using uh, CMD because I'm on in window. Open command prompt. Okay. Now we have to uh, first we have to move in the desktop because I've uh, saved our, my project in desktop. So to do this, type cd desktop. And now we need to paste the command that we copied. Enter. And now we are in the base directory of this project. Uh, by type, typing ls, by typing ls, we can see no oh, dir, uh, uh, dir, uh, sorry, because we are in cmd. By typing dir, we can see all the files we have here. So we have requirements, png, and lot all the files that we need. <coughs> okay. Now let's go back to the git repository and move to the step 3. So the step 3 says create a new python environment with python dash env vnv and env. So we need to use a python environment when we are building web applications because we install different modules and we don't have to install these modules in our PC, our computer, but we install them in a python environment so we, we, uh, we can make this easier for us. Now we can uh, copy this command here, go to the uh, cmd and paste it. Okay, copy again, paste it here, and enter. <clears throat> this env uh, is a, a, a states about the name of the environment. I've used env, but you can type whatever you want. But uh, the other piece of the code should be the same. You can change the env, just env. Okay, wait for this to install our environment okay our uh, python environment is now uh, finished installing so uh, we can uh, prove this by typing again there and you can see an env folder is created in our project so now let's get back in uh, the documentation here in python in a repository so let's jump in the, in the fourth step and it says activate environment with env script activate on windows or source env bin activate on mac and linux so uh, i am in windows so i'm gonna use this command copy this go back in the command line and paste it here enter and now we can see uh, here we have an env that means that our environment is uh, activated now let's get back again and uh, install required dependencies with pip install uh, dash r requirements.txt so our project needs to install some modules some files some uh, uh, yeah, some files that we have to use them uh, to build our project. So to install them, uh, we have all here in requirements.txt. And to do that, we have to uh, type this command. Copy it and paste. Oh my gosh. Paste it here and enter. Now, as you can see, it is collecting everything we need. For example, it's collecting Django here, uh, a database and all other uh, files and modules that and frameworks too that we need. So let's wait for this. Okay, as you can see now, everything is finished and we, ha we are good to go. 
successfully installed Django 3.0.5, Ginger, Markup, Pillow, and everything we need. Um, this is um, uh, if you see this message here, don't worry about this because it's not a problem. Okay, now jump uh, again in the uh, GitHub repository and we can go to the uh, step 6 that says make migrations with python manage.py and make migrations and then uh, python manage.py migrate so uh, migrations uh, means that we have we we are pushing everything into database so to, uh, to our, our application don't work without database without users without our data data that we want uh, to use so to, to push this data in the database and to create a, a, a database we have to do this to uh, python manage that by make migrations first so copy this line of code this command sorry go back in the command line and paste paste it here and enter okay but uh, as you can see now migrations for blog so we have a blog in our applications and uh, all fields and everything is done with this so go back again and then uh, python manage the pi migrate so copy this line again and paste it here now we are migrating everything we made these migrations now as you can see now everything is applying in the database Okay, now everything is applied and uh, pushed in database. So go back again, and now we see the the, uh, the final step that says run up app locally with Python manage the pi run server. So copy this line of command and paste it here. So this command is going to run application in a server locally in our uh, PC. So uh, start a development server at HTTP one, uh, 127.0.0.1 and the port is 8000. So copy this URL here and go back in our browser, new tab and paste this uh, URL. Click enter and wait for this to be opened and yeah as you can see guys we have other we have our application here and it's it has a really good front end and it's very cool so uh, first we see <clears throat> home here we can we have some links home login and register so to access this application first you need to log in or register so we haven't registered before on this so first we have to uh, create a new uh, account by clicking register here now we have a very good front end here in register and we can uh, <clears throat> we can put our information in the in this form so my name ready email is this now choose a password so testing one two three testing one two three okay sign up uh, the password is too common so uh, we need to put another password so Django is very secured <laughs> So I'm choosing another another password. So, for example, uh, ready dev one two three four five. Okay, ready dev one two three four five. Sign up again. Okay, now we are red redirect in the login page. And we see a message here so account created for ready so uh, now we have just we to log in so in the first field put your username so it's ready and in the second field put your password so password was ready they have one two three four five login <coughs> 
and yeah guys you can see other our project here it is very good and very beautiful uh, Twitter clone and I think it has a very good front end and it, it is very similar with the real Twitter so in the, we have the first page here uh, we have home page and we have here a logo that is Twitter logo Re, uh, ready tweet I, I call this ready tweet just uh, to make uh, buy on my channel and uh, we have the profile section here, the tweets section in the in the middle. As you can see, it's empty because we don't have any tweets because we just uh, logged in for the first time. And in the third section, we have a search box here that we can search for users, or we have the trends here. We can follow the the trends account. Okay now we can do everything just like Twitter here for example we can create a tweet by clicking on this button here or create a tweet here so I'm choosing this and now we can type a tweet for example hello everyone uh, welcome to my Twitter clone tutorial okay now we can submit these changes we can tweet it by clicking on that and yeah as you can see now we have our tweet here so uh, is created by ready and hello everyone welcome to my tweet uh, twitter cl clone tutorial so I clicked on this tweet and as you can see we have comments here but it's empty and we can add a comment by uh, just typing uh, hello hello submit the comment and now we have our comments so this is a real really good feature on this project by creating comments it's really cool so we can go back by clicking on home and now in our tweet here we have uh, some uh, some commands here like x x means that you do you want to delete it or not we can delete this tweet or this uh, clock uh, icon for update it you can update it here and to update it just click on it and you can try another thing hello hello uh, hello hello ready okay submit changes and now we have hello ready so we can delete it by clicking on this and who to follow so we added an account and now we have someone that we can follow but we this is our account and we can follow this and we have uh, to search here we can search for example I'm searching my account because only my account is registered right now and type your account and click search now as you can see we have just one account with this matching search query go back to home and now I'm going to create another user to register another user just to, sh to show you that we can follow users so I'm logging out uh, no at the moment yeah I'm, I'm doing this later but at the moment I'm explaining you about the settings here so in settings we we show all our, our informations of our account so we can change our username we can change our email you can we can update your uh, profile image so currently is default this image but uh, we can update it by here by uh, choose this file for example and i'm updating it with this image just for testing Okay, uh, now it says account has uh, been updated. So go to home and as you can see, my image is updated. So this is very cool, guys. And uh, now I'm gonna show you uh, how uh, the follow and unfollow functions. So I'm registering another user here and you can register, I'm typing, uh, for example, ready to choose another email 
too and type the I'm, I'm using the same password don't uh, this is not a problem so ready dev one two three four five dev one two three four five sign up okay now we can log in ready to and type the password one two three four five so log in now okay now I have created another user so we, we don't have the image and we don't have anything followers are empty and everything is okay so as you can see here in who to follow we have uh, an account that we created uh, because this this account has uh, has uh, tweeted something and now we can we have someone to follow so if I want to follow this, I can click here or I can search for anyone I want. For example, I'm searching again my, uh, the user I created before. And as you can see, we have two users now and I can click on the first one. And now we have uh, our the this user page. So we have his profile here and his tweets here. So I can follow, yeah, it can, uh, the button for follow is here, so I can follow, just type follow. And now, as you can see, a follower is uh, added. So this user has one follower that is our current account. So here we have tweets. And if we go to home now, so we are on home and now we have a new tweet because we follow someone and we are watching his tweet so he is here his tweet here and it is his tweet here and now we can add a comment here hi for example just to show you guys and yeah our comment is added and this is very cool guys i really recommend you to build this just for fun or just for use it for your own or do anything uh, transform this on blog to use for yourself or or anything you want okay something else i want to show you is uh the admin panel so admin admin panel is the is a page that so shows everything about admin administration and everything you need to do and may this makes uh, uh, programming easier with Django and this is why uh, Django is liked by lots of people so to do this first you need to create a super user so uh, if you want to access the admin we can type in URL a slash and then admin enter and now is open the login uh, Django site admin so this says you are authenticated uh, as uh, you are ready to but you are not uh, authorized to access this page would you like to log in a different account so first we have to create a super user and only super users can log in on this so go to the uh, command line here stop the server by uh, typing control or Control plus C or command plus C on Mac Okay, now it's stop it and now we, we can type Python uh, manage dot pi create a super user enter And now it uh, requires a username so I'm using uh, Just admin I'm not putting an email, so enter and admin again for password, admin again, and type Y because it is a uh, warning. And now it says super user created successfully. Now we can go back to the admin panel and we can type our information here admin, for example. Uh, the because the user is created is username of our super user is admin and now we can type password admin to now login oh okay I forgot to start the server so because you have to start the server b before working with uh, local 
yeah, a local server. So start the server by typing Python, python manage.py run server. Now it's started. Clo uh, delete this here and just type the sla slash admin. Enter. Now we delete this, create the super user here, admin. Now log in. Now, as you can see, our site administration, Django administration page is open. So as you, uh, here we can see our uh, profiles, our users that are registered in our app and uh, comments, posts and everything. So uh, for example, I go to users and we have three users because I created a super user. And as you can see, it has staff status is uh, checked here. And we have a ready user and ready to user. We can see the profile here for each user. So we have admin profile. For example, if we go here, we can edit the profile, choose an image for him or do anything we want. So this is what about uh, everything about and we can click view site to go back. So this is everything about uh, admin page. And uh, this is everything about uh, this project. So we are in the end of these tutorials and I really uh, think, uh, I hope you like this. I really worked long for this project, but uh, the only problem he is here is that I'm not going through all programming stuff and coding stuff and uh, because I don't have the best equipment, I don't have I have a very slow PC and I have a good camera I don't have a good microphone and this is why I want you to support me guys and the only thing you can do for me is just subscribe to my channel yeah subscribe to my channel and this is all you can do for me and then I can buy a good computer, good camera, good microphone and I can make very long time uh, tutorials like 2 or 3 hours and I can explain everything to you. So with, with all that said, I wanna, uh, I wanna <clears throat> close this video right now because it's made too long and I just wanna say you, see you in the next videos. Stay tuned, follow me on uh, on my uh, social media, subscribe to this, ch to this channel, like this video too, take care, bye.